Hello, this is Shuichi Shadowstar, and this is a progress report for Final Fantasy XIV. I've been away from the game for a couple of months, and I've just returned, and it seems like it has definitely improved for the better. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through the changes that have been made to the crafting interface and the overall crafting procedure. Uh, first of all, I would like to point out at the top, uh, any buffs or debuffs that have been applied to your character, you may now see the time remaining for those buffs or debuffs. So let's open up the crafting menu. First of all, uh, there's been a button added here, recipes, and when you open up this particular menu, you have two tabs, recent recipes and recent requests. The recent recipes tab shows you any items that you've recently crafted, and if you're not crafting via guildies, you can quickly repeat any crafts that you're doing on your own and level up your crafting classes that way. Uh, the recent request tab shows you anything that you have learned via crafting leaves or any items that you've crafted recently via leaves. So I'm going to go into the requested items option here and pull up a leave that I'm working on. As you may notice the uh, menus come up a lot faster now. Now this next window has changed uh, a good bit here. It shows you the item that you're going to make. Uh, the stats for that particular item, the rank required, the class required, as well as the item required to repair the item and the class required to repair the item. So I'm going to go into the crafting options menu. Now if you're not aware, uh, depending on the various crafting classes that you've leveled, you get traits that you can apply to your character and you can share those traits among your various crafting classes to greatly increase the chances of uh, completing your crafts. Now the orb color indicates the chance of success or failure for the next crafting action. White is stable and a high chance of success. Uh, yellow, you're getting into the danger zone. And red, you're in the danger zone. It's a high chance of failure. Uh, if your orb is red, you can select the bold synthesis and you can enjoy a greater increase in quality for that additional risk. Most people just spam uh, standard to quickly get through any uh, crafting that they're doing. And that completes the item for this particular crafting leaf. Uh, there's still room for improvement in regards to the, the crafting interface. I feel like they could take the uh, option that, that appears regarding uh, shards or crystals required and incorporate it into this existing window showing you the stats and other information regarding the item that you're going to craft. Uh, thanks for watching and look forward to more videos in the future.